All right, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises and honor and glory that's due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth, and double citations to all you Akim, you men that are prophesying and named throughout the four winds of this earth, pushing this truth with all righteousness and sincerity, risking lives and ready to do so now most of them. And to the scattered, hopefully, like that scatter scattered abroad, all right? And to the Aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning, to you, I say Shalom. It's your brother Andre coming back at you with another quick lesson through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shai. And, well, this guy's going to be in dealing with you Edomites, man, your pride, man. And it goes to show you the arrogancy and the pride of you, you, you damn Edomites, man. All right? But you're going to see in this video the pride of this, this chick, you know. This uh this Edomite chick that uh you know accused this so called black so called black young man of stealing her phone in case you never know you know the story about this uh this Edomite that was in the motel you know accusing this uh you know accusing this so called black you know young man fourteen year old young black man who is a uh you know a son of a, a jazz musician. Still on her phone, man. Okay, you're just gonna see the arrogancy and the pride of this this damn chick, man. And she, you know, you're gonna see it, man. But hey, man, you eat a mice, man. Your pride is about to get ready to get knocked down. The glory how about she outside is about to get ready to knock down that pride. And when hey, when you devils fall, whew, you devils gonna fall, and you ain't gonna get back up again, man. All right. But um, without further ado, I'm going to play this video. Um, it's about a 6 minute and 29 video. It's, I'm not going to play the whole thing. I'm just going to make some points in here. All right. And I'm going to pull out some script and, you know, read some scriptures and go away. And it's going to be edifying, man. Okay. So stay tuned. And I will post this uh video in the description box. All right. I'm not benefiting from it. All right. I'm just using this for educational purposes only, all right? So with that, without further ado, let's get into it, man. The woman caught on camera physically attacking a black teenager and falsely accusing him of stealing her cell phone has been arrested in California. It happened last night. You might remember this video. Mia Ponsetto approached 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. at a New York City hotel last month, accusing him of stealing her phone. His father, jazz musician Keon Harold, recorded the encounter and accused Ponsetto of racial profiling. We have your, what you, you, see, you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Now, the video shows Ponsetto trying to stop the teenager from leaving the hotel lobby and then rushing toward them. Hotel surveillance video shows the 22-year-old woman tackling Keon Jr. Now, he never had the phone. It turned up several minutes later at the hotel. New York City detectives went to California yesterday to coordinate Ponsetto's arrest in connection with the confrontation. She was contacted at a traffic stop in Ventura County near Los Angeles. Officials say that police had to pull her out of the car when she refused to get out. Now, in an exclusive interview, we had just done that interview yesterday afternoon. Her lawyer spoke with us before she was arrested. They told us that NYPD had not yet contacted them. Mia, help me understand. What made you think that Keon had your phone? That's why I'm confused. Why did you think he had it? I was approaching the, the people that had been exiting the hotel because in my mind, anybody exiting is probably the one that uh, might be the one that is trying to steal my phone. I admit, yes, I could have approached the situation differently or maybe not yelled at him like that and made him feel, you know, maybe some sort of uh, inferior way, making him feel as if I was like hurting his feelings because that's not my intention. I, I consider myself to be super sweet. I really never ever meant for it. <laughs> she says she considered herself to be super sweet. Really? 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 <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, let's let's continue. It gets worse. It to like hurt him or his father either. Are you saying that you were stopping everybody in the lobby asking them about your phone? Is that what you're saying? Um, not everyone. Just the just the people that in the meantime, while, while the hotel manager was checking the the footage, I just wanted to do my part as best as I could. In other words, 
she wasn't stopping everybody. Because I guarantee you, if it was a so-called white man or a so-called white couple or anybody that was a so-called white person, it wasn't stopping them. But as soon as this uh, this Jake comes down, all of a sudden, here she go on a rampage, man. All right. <laughs> You just described yourself as super sweet. I know you've seen the video. When you look at the video, the reaction seems very extreme. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's super sweet. How would you feel if you were alone in New York and, you know, you're going to spend time with your family during the holidays and you lose the one thing that gets stolen from you that has all of the access to the only way that you're able to get back home? I just don't think I would randomly attack people, is, is, is what I'm saying to you. I know you said you could have handled it better, but I just don't think I would randomly attack people in the manner in which you did. What do you think when you look at that video? You're standing there in your leggings and your flip-flops, and it looks like you're just going nuts, for lack of a better word. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone! I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but I do sincerely from the bottom of my heart apologize that if I made the son feel as if I assaulted him or if I hurt his feelings or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody, but I, I think when I look at that particular video, you're, you did more than just accuse him. The video seems to show that you physically attacked this young boy. You do see that too, right? By the end of the day, the dad did end up uh, like slamming me to the ground and uh, pulling my hair. And there it is, man. That VVS, villain and victim syndrome. First, she's the villain. And then when some somebody stands up to her and all that stuff, man, she be now she's the victim. Okay? I got to get a scripture. Let me get a scripture right quick. I'll come back to the video, man. Because, hey, you, you eat a mice are through. Okay? Let's get a script, quick scripture. Let's go to Psalms 58 uh, and 3. Actually, I'm going to start at verse 2. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are strange from the womb. They go, ast they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Let's get back to the video. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My hair and th throwing me and dragging me across the ground. So I, I will say that. Yeah, but, but I think, you know, the video we saw, it looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage shows me attacking his son of attacking him how? Yelling at him? Yes. Okay, I apologize. Can we move on? I know you're saying I don't need to. I'm just Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. Can we move on? Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh, man, I got to get it. I got to get it. I'm, I was going to get it, but I got to. Hold on. Let me go to it. There we go. <laughs> oh man <laughs> Zechariah 11 and 5 whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty this chick she said now she said and I quote her I'm sorry but in deep, look, in deep reality she's not sorry about what she did she ain't sorry at all man you eat a mice are never sorry about anything you do okay let's read this Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not, man. You Edomites are never sorry by anything. Let's let's get something. I gotta get this one. And I'm gonna go back to the video because y'all got to see this one. Hold on. Hold on. This is Psalms 55 verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart, okay? And hey, you, you, the Edomite chick is no better, okay? All right? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his mouth, snucky. Well, war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn sores, okay? So these Edomites, look, you, you Jakes need to learn, man. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans need to learn. You have enemies of Israel, man. You Israelites have enemies. And this is one of them. Not just the Edomite male, but the Edomite female, man. Okay? 
you Israelites need to wake up and realize you have enemies. Okay? Let's get back to the video. There's something else. I just want to apologize, but I do think that there should be some context to your actions that day. Okay, so basically, I'm I'm a 22 year old girl. I am I I don't. I, You're not a 22 year old girl. You are a 22 year old woman. That that should know better. But yeah, that's that's neither here nor there. Let's continue. Racism uh, is I said I. How is one girl accusing? A guy about a phone, a crime. Where did, you, did, did you hear that? <laughs> did you hear that? Hold on, let's go back. Let's back it up. Let's back it up just a little bit. Let's back it up. I said, I, how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone, a crime? There it is. I just got through reading it. Let's go back and read it again. I gotta get it again. <sighs> Zechariah 11 and 5. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty. They that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich and their own shepherds pity them not. And I got another better one. Watch this. It's Proverbs. I think I got it in here. Um, Proverbs 30 and verse 20. Proverbs 30 and 20. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. Okay, this is to prefer to the Israelite woman, but you can also compare this to the Edomite woman. You can also compare this to them. Okay, let's read this again. Proverbs 30 and 20 again. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and saith, I have done no wickedness. She feels like she ain't done nothing wrong. She just said she's sorry, but in reality, like I say, she's not sorry for what she did, man. Okay, she's not sorry for what she did at all. Okay, let's continue, man. <laughs> oh, man. Where is the context in that? Mia, what is the Mia, deeper? What Mia, is the deeper? Mia, what is the deeper story Mia, it's here? not. It's, it, that's and, not the, and notice that. <laughs> notice the attitude, man. She says, "Say, where, where, where is the deep contents in that?" She, she's not guilty. She don't feel like she's guilty of anything. She don't feel like she did anything wrong. <laughs> oh man. Problem. You have to at least understand your actions that day. You seem to have attacked this little boy, this young boy, this this teenager. You seem to have attacked. Let me stop right there. Hold up. Let me stop. First of all, he's not a young black boy. Okay? He's not a boy. He's a young man. Okay? He's a 14-year-old young so-called black man. Okay? And by the way, and if you look at her skin, her skin is clearly brown. Let me look at that. And if you look at, uh, what's this woman's name? Uh, damn. I forgot her name. I forgot her name, but you, you get the bit. But her skin is clearly brown. No one is black, man. Okay? Nobody's skin is black. Just like the so-called white race. They're not white. They're red. Okay? But look at this thing, man. And he's not a black child. He's a young so-called black man. Okay? Let's be, let's be honest. This is a young 14-year-old young man. Let's continue. This teenager about the phone, and then it turned out he didn't even have your phone. That's the thing. I mean, you're 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 saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say, you're 22. I, I get, get it. it. Enough. The hotel does <coughs> have my phone. Ho Hold on. Did <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see that? Hold up. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. You're 22. I, I get, get it. it. Enough. The hotel did have my phone. The pride, man. You see the pride in this chick? Did you see the pride? And look, and look at the lawyer. That's her lawyer. And if you don't know who that lady is, that's her lawyer sitting next to her, man. And her lawyer's looking like, wow. <laughs> that's the woman's lawyer sitting next to her. And that goes to show you the pride of Esau Edom, man. These Edomites. 
These Edomites got pride. That's the pride of these Edomites, man. Woo! <laughs> Let's continue, man. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. All right. Well, wow. Great, Gail. <laughs> enough, enough. Gail. That's my favorite part. Enough. <laughs> Now, the Herald family's lawyer released a statement last night. They said this is not about an apology from someone who until a few days ago was claiming she did nothing wrong and, in fact, alleged that Keon Harrell Sr. had assaulted her. Someone who targeted a 14-year-old black teenager because of the color of his skin. We'll have more of our interview with Miss with, with Miss Mia Monsetto on Monday. You know, I actually felt for the attorney there who was really trying to help her. And then, yeah. you know, when she interjected, uh, Mia would get upset about that. She insisted that she's not racial profiling. She has an explanation about that. And, you know, it was reported that an Uber driver returned the phone. She says that's not true. So right. she's... But, she never, wanted to make an apology, but I, as I said to her in the interview, I'm not sure you're helping yourself here. Well, yeah. the point is, he didn't have her phone. No, he did not. And? He did not. Interesting choice of hat, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I, I also... <laughs> That's enough of that, man. All right, and I'll put the the video in the description box. But, man, that, that goes to show you the pride of these devils, man. Okay, that's the pride of Esau, you know. Okay, puff up with pride, man. Let me read this again. Proverbs 30 and 20 again. Such is the way of an adulterous woman. She eateth and wipeth her mouth and say and saith, I have done no wickedness. Okay, like I said, this scripture is talking about the Israelite woman. Okay, but you can also compare this to this Edomite woman here. She feels like she ain't done nothing wrong. And you saw how she did. And you saw how she was. That's the pride of Esau, man. The pride. Whew. And, and hey, that chick there, she's got a lot of pride. But, hey, that's okay. The Lord's about to take all that away. The Lord, y'all about to see how shy? He's about to destroy that pride. This is Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thy heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clutch of the rock, whose habitation is high, that said in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? That's the pride of you devils, man. You devils are puffed up with pride. Okay? Puffed up. But that's okay. Let you be puffed up, man. Verse 4. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou make it snuck in, though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, hence will I bring thee down, say the Lord Yahweh Shin outside. The Lord Yahweh Shin outside is about to bring down that pride, man. All right? Let's get a scripture to prove that. Isaiah 13 and 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And will and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible man. Okay? Man. That shows you this chick, she ain't sorry about what she did. And she's not. She's not sorry. Because, well, Edomites ain't sorry no way anyway. Uh, that's another one I want to see. Mm, where is that? I think it's Isaiah 2. Mm-hmm. Um... I'm going to start at verse 11. Isaiah 2 and 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be and should be bowed down, the Lord, and the Lord Yahweh shall shine alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord Yahweh shall shine host shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. And this chick here, <laughs> she was proud, boy. You can tell she was proud. She talking about she was sorry about something. She ain't sorry, man. You get a mice ain't never sorry about anything you do. Never. All right. Uh, what's that? I'm going to read this again. Verse 12 again. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh, she shall shall host shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty and everyone that and everyone that is lifted up and he shall be brought down low. You eat a mice. You Edomites are about to be brought down to a low state, man. The Lord is about to humble y'all asses, man. Okay? You Edomites and all you other heathen and Gentile nations, man, you're about to be humbled. Okay? 
You really are. You're about to be humbled. The Lord is about to humble y'all, especially you women. Because you women, you know what? Because you women, especially you women, you women are the most proudest, proudest things on the planet. The Lord y'all about to y'all shot. I got something for y'all, man. This is Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous, loud. She is simple and knoweth nothing. Okay? Simple. And you tell that chick is simple. <laughs> she is simple and know absolutely nothing, man. But that's okay. Because, hey, Lord's about to get busy, man. Lord's about to do a miraculous work on this place. Let me get this. I already read that. Uh, let's get this. Proverbs 26 and 25. When he speaketh fairly, believe him not. Or when she speaketh fairly, believe her not. For there are seven abominations in his heart. There are seven abominations in these Edomites' hearts, man. In their minds, all right? Whose hatred is covered by deceit. Her hatred is covered by deceit. Her own lies. She's deceiving her own self and her pride. Okay, and I actually had... Oh, uh, what's that scripture? I think it's I'll come back to this. Proverbs chapter seven. It's not like, no sixteen and verse eighteen, I believe. Yeah. This good scripture right here. <clears throat> Proverbs sixteen and eighteen. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Her pride is gonna get her destroyed, man. Better it is to be of an humble spirit with the lonely than to divide the spoils with the proud. Okay, the Lord hates the proud. Okay, the Lord hates pride, man. And let's prove that. Okay, Proverbs 16 and verse 16, I believe. Yeah, I'm gonna read a start up here. Proverbs 16, Snoggy, Proverbs 6 and verse 16. These six things do the Lord Yahabashi Yahushai hate. Yea, and yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that sowed discourse among brethren. Okay, the Lord hates a proud look and a lying tongue, and this chick. She knows she lied. She knows she was wrong. But do she feel bad about it? No. Edomites don't feel bad about anything you do, man. Okay? Let me check out a precept right quick. Uh, let's see. Let me check this out. I'm going to go and read this. All right. This is Ecclesiasticus of Sirach, uh 10 and verse 13. For pride is the beginning of sin. And he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore the Lord Yahweh Shai brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. The Lord Yahweh Shai hath cast down the thrones of proud princes and set up the meat in their stead. So the Lord Yahweh is about to pluck up these Edomites out of rulership and is about to set who's about to set up the meat? Who's the meat? The Israelites, man. Starting with the 144,000. Alright? The 144,000 elect. Okay? That are going to be set up as ruling kings and princes and uh, preachers on the earth. Okay? In the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to read verse 15, because this is about to happen right here. The Lord, Yahweh, Shiyah, Shai, hath plucked up the roots of the proud nations. He's about to pluck up the roots, uh, pluck up the roots of the proud nations. And these nations are proud, including these Edomites, man. Okay? And planted the lonely in their place. The Lord is about to plant the lonely. Who's the lonely? The Israelites, man. The meek and the lonely. We're the meek and the lonely. All right, we're at low estate, man. Okay, we're at the bottom. 
But hey, there's some nice about to be brought back as the head again. And you other heathen nations, and couldn't you Edomites? You got slavery waiting on y'all asses, man. I ain't don't let hey, don't take my word for it. All right, the words of the Lord Yahweh Shai says it. Revelations thirteen and ten, Jeremiah thirty and uh sixteen. As a matter of fact, let's get that because actually I got two I want to read. Um, I said might be no, actually I'm right. Isaiah 33 and verse 1. Woe to thee that spoil this, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealest treacherously. And these Edomites, they do treacherously, and they have spoiled the Hebrew Israelites, man. Like it says in uh, Zechariah 2 and 8. He that touches you touches the apple of his eye. You touch the Lord's apple of his eye. All right? And you're going to have to pay for that. Thus says the scriptures. And they that dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. All right? So, hey, in other words, your time to pay is on its way, man. Okay? Let's get this. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Jeremiah 30 and 16. All right. Jeremiah 30. It's not good. Jeremiah 30 and 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. So, hey, punishment is coming to you, Edomites, man, you so called white race. And to the hell the heathen and Gentile nations. Thus says the scriptures. The Lord, Yahweh Shion Shai, is gonna do this. Not us, man. Okay? Zephaniah 3 and 8 says, Wait ye upon me, said the Lord to the day that I rise up to the praise. So we're waiting on the Lord, Yahweh Shion Shai. We're not gonna do anything. Okay? And you know what? Let's get a scripture to prove that. Let's go to Romans 12 and 19. Alright? Watch this. Romans 12 and 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord Yahabashin Yahshai. So the Lord Yahabashin Yahshai is going to do this. Not us, man. Okay? So there you go. We're waiting on our power to come. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to this. I wasn't through reading that. Let's read this again. I wasn't through reading it. I had to make some more points in this. This is Proverbs 26 and 25. Again, he's, when he speaketh fairly, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart, whose hatred is covered by deceit. His wickedness shall be shown before the whole congregation. All right? And the whole world is seeing how wicked you damn Edomites are, man. Okay? The whole world is paying attention. Don't think the world ain't paying attention. The whole world's paying attention. Just like the whole world is paying attention to this shit show that they saw last Tuesday. And what happened last Tuesday, man? That whole shit show that happened in the Capitol Hill. Okay? The whole world is <laughs> the whole world is laughing at America. Okay? Verse 27. Whoso diggeth if a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. A lying tongue hateth those that are afflicted by it, and a flattering mouth worketh ruin. Okay? Let's continue. Alright, let's get this. This is Revelations chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come the now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our kingdom of our power Yahweh and the power of his Mashiach or the anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night who is our accuser and who's the accuser of us man Esau Edom the so called white man this devil accuses us before our power day and night accusing us of doing things but hey where you being exposed Excuse me, Sanaki. But you devils are being exposed, man. The whole world to see. Okay? 
And the whole world is waking up. <clears throat> this is Psalms chapter 50 and verse 19. Thou givest this thy mouth to evil and thy tongue frameth mischief. That's what you saw. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silent. Though thou is, though thoughtest that I was altogether such as one as thyself, but I will reprove thee and set them in order before thy eyes. So the Lord Yahweh is about to set you heathen and Gentile nations right in order, man. Okay? And how's that going to happen? Through slavery. Okay? First, America's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire. And then, whatever's left of you Edomites, well, starting with the Bacon families and other Indian Gentile nations that survived this, this uh, World War III and the destruction of America, you're going to be the first fruits of slavery, man. Okay? Thus says the scriptures. Psalms 149, verse 5, all the way down to verse 9. All right? Last scripture. Psalms 52 and verse 2. Thou tongue deviseth mischief like a great like the uh, tongue to it. So I'm gonna start again. Psalms 52 and verse 2. Thy tongue deviseth mischief like a sharp razor, worketh deceitfully. Thou lovest evil more than good, and lying rather than to speak righteousness. And who who is this talking about? Esau Edom. Okay. Thou lovest all devouring words, O thou deceitful tongue. Yahweh shall likewise destroy thee forever. He shall take away thee. He shall take thee away and pluck thee out of thy dwelling place and root thee out of the land of the living. The righteous also shall see and fear and shall laugh at him. The Lord is about to take you devils out of power once and for all. Once and for all. Because you're going way too far and you're going way beyond what you're doing, man. So the Lord Yahweh Shai is about to is about to do away with you. Let me check out something right quick. Mm, let's see. Mm, I'm just checking out a precept. I'm going to read verse 35. Job 15, 35. They conceive mischief and bring it forth vanity and their bellies prepare deceit. Okay. That's what these devils do, man. All right. So the Lord Yahweh Shin Yon Shai, hey, it's got something for you devils, man. All right. For all the things you've done, all the wickedness. You know what? Let's get one last one and I'm going to close it out. Let's get a goodie. Galatians 6 and 7. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man or a woman, or either my woman soweth, that shall he also reap. You're going to reap what you sow. Thus says the scriptures. Let's get another one. It says, last one. Colossians 3 and 25. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done, and there is no respect to persons. I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. Call Hunga Yinga, Anga Hawanai, Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, Bashin Rakakadash, Double Nas, TDLs, and Apostles of Great Millstone, Rule Well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect that are scattered abroad. See you with another lesson soon, Lord willing. Kwam Yashin Rala, 
Shang Wong and why about football? Shang Wong destruction to this wicked kingdom. Shang Wong and Barack Thun to the whole full net that is scattered abroad. And to you few sisters that do listen and learn and follow the men of the Lord. Shang Wong Barack Thun and destruction to Babylon the Great America. Shang Wong.